Well deserved. Terracite ends. Countless lives saved. Yeah, sure, we'll go with countless lives. I'm not sure what to do about the alien base. Oh, hey, alien armor plating. So, basically, it is just... I don't really know how to explain it. It's stronger, but similar weight. Um, the game accounts it to it being a lot like dipping hot steel into cold water. How it messes with the atomic structure and kind of scrambles it a bit. So it's not completely crystalline, thereby giving it a weakness. It's more scattered and better for impact resistance and stuff like that. Um, although it's a lot more complicated than simply dipping hot steel in water. Um, similar effect though. Uh, cooling process for it consumes a lot of elenium, but we can produce these now. So there's that. And then the directional thruster array finished up too. Good. So it's a lot more than just a simple thruster. It's actually got a kind of a brain incorporation into it that's far too complex, as is most alien technology, for us to replicate. But we can kind of sort of take what we've learned from this and apply it to our own stuff. So that's cool. It's uh, It improved the performance of our interceptors and dropships. So we got the new dropship and the assault shield. <sighs> okay, I am going to go for the alien reactor. How many do I need for that to be excellent? Okay, fine, everybody. Everybody focus on it. Still waiting for researchers here. So hopefully that happens soon. The strike dropship. <gasps> More capacity. Pretty much when we get this, I think this will be our primary dropship, and we'll have the other base's dropship, uh, our current one. So, into China we'll get our little Chinook, and we will get the awesome cool strike thing. So we got a Squad A and Squad B, Squad A being much better than Squad B. Haha, -ha, Squad B. Uh, Plasma Caster finished. Cool. Can't really do much about that right now. Dropship's still heading to base. Items are ordered, that would be the researchers. Some hot, hot items there. Oh boy. I just, like, super extra excellent. Get it done, like, now? That apply it right. Yeah. That's kind of cool that research is joined across all bases. I don't believe the original games had that. Um, I'm not even sure if Open XCOM had that, to be honest. Does it? I say did, but does it? I, I don't think it's quite 100% complete yet. But I, I don't, I don't know. Small, heading f quickly. Yeah, you're not alone, okay. Okay. Okay, so we got a medium. A landing ship. Um, yeah, Corsair. That'd be the rolling small? God, I don't know. Okay, save. I Because I don't know. I never remember. I know you're easy to take down. Indochina can probably handle you. So, if they can catch you, uh, that is. You have full 51. I think we can probably take you down with Demon Meat Ninja Zombie. And 52. Medium with no escorts. We'll take you down with two Foxtrots. Yeah. Return to base for just a second. 51. Intercept you. We will get a Condor in there just in case. It'll slow us down a bit, but I think we can still catch him. Tell him to overland. I think that's overland enough. There we go. This should be a very easy... Whatever. Yay, torpedoes. Simple. One down. Yay. Whoa, okay. Normal scout, it's over land. Cool. Pushed the wrong button and went way too fast. This guy does not roll. So he should be easy. Do you mean Ninja Zombie heading in first? Good. As it should be. I see a hero. Hurry up. Too slow, bruh. Damn it, I think I got hit. I got hit because I rolled the wrong direction on accident. Oops. And that guy down there. Another medium. 
Okay. Okay, industrial, and this is the medium desert. Okay, we'll try to do that medium. Hopefully Squadron 1 can hit this guy. Okay, they're out of fuel. Fine, fair enough. Uh, it's right there, though. It's north of the alien base. We'll see him soon. That's probably him. I don't think we can intercept him quite yet, though. No, not quite yet. Soon. Waiting for a day before I head out to 33. Ooh, alien reactor. Nice. So this thing seems big, but it's efficient. It seems to recycle energy uh, that escapes out of breaking Elenium, because I guess it releases gamma. Gamma rays when you break Elenium. A bit like a sun exploding. Kind of crazy. This thing takes that energy and harnesses it. Um, it apparently it's a simple design. Okay. And we can replicate it. So... Cool. So we got <gasps> Predator Assault Armor and Plasma Explosives. Mmm. Okay, Plasma Explosives. Um. For new ship weapons. Do I really need that many people on it, though? I don't think so. God, that should be done, like, right quick if I put everybody on it. Yeah. They got it. Okay. And... Yeah, mechanized assault suit. Wield heavy weapons without penalty. Mm, I know who's getting these if they want it. I'm pretty sure they do. I can't imagine they don't want it. It's pretty awesome. You don't need a shield. It's pretty fantastic. And... I think this place is pretty much fully operational. We just need... Because we got general stores. We got the personnel capacity. We just need soldiers here. And then a dropship. So we're getting to there. We are getting there. Not too much longer. The Alpha 54, I don't think we can get you quite yet. Yeah, that'll work. Oh. Uh... Return to base. I'd like somebody that can roll for that. I think we can head out to Crash Site 33 now, though. I'm fairly certain this guy's not gonna... Yeah, he's not gonna come after us. He disappeared way down there anyway. And I'm thinking Crash Site, you, we're gonna have to airstrike you, because I don't know if we'll be able to swing back after this mission and do you. We'll find out, though. Oh, seriously, the repairs, goddammit. I'll wait. If this guy escapes, then fine, so be it. Just minor damage on this one, and looks like we got the top right corner. Good deal. I'm all right with this corner. And, ah, nice. It's like the desert military base thing. I like this one. I haven't seen it as of late. I saw screenshots of it, though, and I was like, mm, that looks fun. So we'll see. Ah, I forgot to get a bub of the... Ah, uh, the other one finished up. I forgot to give it to him. Oh, he's forgetting something with equipment. Whether it be ammo or whatever. We'll just end it here. See where everybody goes. Okay. Stuff's up there. Got it! Dude's like in a sandbag. I don't know if he's stuck or not. I hope he's cool just sitting there and he doesn't break anything. Like, pathing wise. Okay, what are we fighting? I heard it scream. I, I don't really have that scream associated with any particular alien, though. I go hide on the edge of the sandbags. That is really good cover. Oh, 
protect him. Um, okay, yeah, it's Greg's. Cool. That ain't so bad. Yeah, that's really good cover. Okay, we're we're okay where we are now, I think. And come and start the pancakes heading around this side. Check out these buildings over here. Okay, there's another one over there. We will get... We'll work on getting Jake over here. Right here, so that you're kind of still behind that in case he comes down and tries to shoot at you. Okay, still kind of in cover. Not the greatest though, might want us to throw smoke just in case. Perfect. Not sure what gun that is either. Seems like just a simple single shot rifle. Like a precision type thing. Whatever it is. It killed a civilian. Ah! Got off the sandbags. Okay, good. Ooh, killed one. Nice. Well done. Or no. No, we didn't. We just hit him. Okay. I thought I saw the thing on the right side, like the aliens that we see. I thought I saw one drop off, but I think I was just it updating after this guy ran off. So, never, never mind. Uh... Yeah, go for it. Why not? Eep. He's suppressed, so... Just there. Oh, there's a second one. He's a decoy. Okay. Wow. Okay. There's a bunch. One of them's looking pretty fantastic. Okay. Crouch down. Let us... Blow the snot out of him. Good try. Alright. A little concern for Matt Master. By a little, I mean a lot. Uh. Ah! Safe. Well done, Jake. Good throw, good throw. And I think this guy ran off. I thought this was the guy that died, but I think he... Oh, no, he did die. Okay. Yeah, I thought the thing on the right side updating was just, like, it taking a while to update because he ran off and the game wasn't sure when to update it. But it was because he died. Yay. Good job, guys. Local forces actually being kind of useful nowadays. It's not just simple cops with handguns. It's actual legit military men with... Pretty decent-ish weapons. I still feel like you could get a little bit of the manufacturing thing in. Like, in the originals, you would always manufacture, like, medkits and stuff and sell it, and that was, like, your main source of income after a while. And the more that stuff that you sell, you know, you reach a certain threshold and somebody's buying it. So you figure local governments are buying it for their military. So as you're selling this equipment, the local forces around you are using it. I always thought that'd be kind of a neat thing. I tweeted to uh, to Chris about it a while ago, though, like a long while ago, and he said that, um, yeah, it could be cool, but it would like it would take a bunch of time to do like code and program in there. I, I simply see it as just storing how much of something you sell as a variable and when it reaches a certain threshold, you enable local forces using said equipment. Hmm. But whatevs, no big deal, just a suggestion. <sighs> I don't know. We'll come back to that. What's what's going on over here? Actually, you guys can maybe... You know, working on sort of a flank over here. Like 
because the smoke's in the way, so... I think what we'll do is just fall back a bit. Um, while we still have... Bear dick, you know that? While we still have smoke, we'll fall back into it, and, uh... Just out of curiosity. Okay. Well, we can at least get... A wall. Uh, so if they decide to charge... Ah, oh, we're gonna fall back a bit. Because I really don't want to lose any of these guys. They're all high-ranking and all pretty much awesome. So... I don't even know if that counts as cover. I think it does. Okay. Come at me, because I got guys on the flank. I think have I accounted for everybody? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I got a couple dudes going on a flank, so... We'll hunker down for a bit. If the aliens decide to charge, we'll just kill them, but it looks like they're being kind of defensive and camping a bit, except that guy who's feeling extraordinarily brave. But no problems there. And when our flank gets into a position and starts shooting them, we'll see if we can suppress a couple and then just charge in ourselves. By then, all the smoke should be clear. That is a- don't do it! That is the plan. Looks like military's coming with us. Come on, guys! Oh god, Gambit's berserking. No! No! He's friendly! He's friendly! He's got just enough willpower to not shoot the, uh, shoot the civilian. He's just shooting at him. He's like shooting at his feet. Okay, yeah, that dude's being a dick, though. So we gotta, we gotta gun you down. That's a really awful chance of getting it through. It's all the sandbags, man. Try it anyway. Wow. Uh, kind of worked. Right. Yeah, suppressed him. Take that, yo. Again. Oh. Good try. And smoke, smoke. Oh, nope. Smoke's not blocking that one. Uh, civilian's wicked close, but he's used to being shot at, so... Take advantage. Here we go. Nice. Okay, Gambit, I assume it's just being attacked by that guy, mentally. Uh, he's all better now, though. Back up to 62, which is actually kind of low. Hmm. Hopefully that improves over time. Okay, there's the ship. Yeah, I saw screenshots of this and I thought, you know, this looks really friggin' cool. You know, you actually got, like, gated walls and buildings and stuff to go through. I think one of these is, yeah, multi-storied. It's, like, it's really fucking cool. I just wish there were more aliens indoors, you know. And a ton of tanks that nobody's using. Ha! <laughs> uh, that, that, that's good stuff. I'm supposed to take a couple shots at this guy, as long as there's no risk of friendly fire. Yeah. I mean, there kind of is, but... I think we're okay. Sandbags are actually more of a hindrance than a help. We'll end the turn and see what happens. I assume he's gonna... Oh. I was going to say close in and try to take on our shield guy again. That's fine. The longer the aliens stay up there, the shorter they have left to live. And I think I forgot to move you. Actually, I'm almost positive I forgot to move you. Oops. Yep, there's him. Yep, there, there's them. God, if only we could throw a grenade that far. What a wicked flashbang that would be. Okay, could throw a defensive smoke. I think all these throw the same range. Pretty much, at least. Okay, but that's all of them. We see them so we can shoot at them. Yeah, 
Alright, go for him. Nice, uh, spread of bullets. And Sniper, can you pick off any of them through smoke? Yeah, you can. Reload and take a shot first before I move somebody in your way. Good luck. Wow. I'm really surprised that worked. Whew. A lot of stuff to shoot over. And spend your last bullet on him. Oh, that works. Teehee. Okay, come on, can you pick on anybody? Yeah. Immediately blocked by that sandbag. That's okay. We can have you wait a bit. Jigsy! Fwah! Nailed him. They're just... Oh. Oh, okay. Good. I was gonna say they're just far enough away. I don't think the weapon's range is gonna help us much. But it looks like this third uh, setting is actually for, like, really long-distance shooting. Seems to be... Yeah, seems to be what it is. I don't, I don't really know for sure, though. Yay! Finished him off. Very surprised that the machine gun fire from earlier actually managed to hit him. And then your shot's blocked by the sandbags. Okay. Fair enough. But if he wraps around, you'll be able to nail him. So, we will end the turn. See what he does. He wraps around. Commissar taking a shot and hitting the cover directly in front of him. Machine gun fire from somewhere. I don't know. People are shooting, hitting walls. Whatevs. We're just making noise. Warning shots and stuff. You know how it is. You know what? Go for a burst, and then go for a couple aim shots. Or an aim shot, I suppose. Yeah. Perfect. 30. 95% chance of hitting. Got him. Right in the neck. Good shot, sir. Map Master, move up. Crouch, and see if you can reload. Probably not. Nope. Fine. It's okay. Sort of surrounded by smoke, but that's alright. Gambit, reload. I think probably just what's in the ship now. Yeah, I'm gonna go with probably just what's in the ship now. Supposedly, the only way that this could have really gone wrong, well, probably not the only way, but a way it could have gone wrong is if there's actually an alien over here by these unmanned tanks. Uh, they had a pretty good angle on Commissar, but I suppose we got lucky? I don't know. End the turn? Anything? No, just what's in the ship then? I think it's just what's in the ship. Everybody's ready, loaded up, standard thing. You know how it is. And we just got three regulars. One's tucked behind a doorway, don't need to worry about him. He's got a bit of an angle. But couldn't see us if we shot with one of these guys, so we will go for... Mapmaster firing on... This dude. Oh my god, I haven't seen that in a while. Every shot missed. Okay. Suppose just a simple sniper shot at him. If it hits, it'll probably kill him. It didn't. It didn't do any damage at all, actually. Super bummer. Well, humph. Okay. Because I think if this guy shoots, since this guy's the shot's blocked 100%, he doesn't see this guy shooting. So because he doesn't see him shooting, he doesn't have a chance of doing reaction fire. So that's why I do that. If anybody's wondering why I always check this guy before I shoot. And that'll work. Uh, suppressed him. Haven't had that in a while from a rifle. Suppressed him too. Man. Ultra Muppet. Okay, well we don't need to worry about their reaction fires anymore, so we can just focus on this guy. Suppressed him too. Hey. Hey. 
I guess just do your stuff. They're all suppressed. Oh, Gray doesn't have time units. Um, who does? Thomas does. Is that 100% cover? 50, 50, 50. Okay, so somebody can hang out. And there as well. Get heavy, like a bubba. Oh, that didn't... Oh, well. I thought I moved the guy to the side. No worries. In the turn, he steps out, gets shot. At. There we go. Kill him? No? Okay. Well, he got up and moved and didn't have enough time minutes to shoot because he was suppressed and had a major, major penalty. So all he could do is just do a little dance while we shot at him. And... And nah, Gray's really not in a position. We'll go for Thomas Duponte. Here we go. Who wants a kill? He's gonna go for Gray because he's still kind of working on his kill count. But I didn't want to risk reaction shot and something awful happening. Hey, alien reactors, by the way. Should be an easy breach like last time. Open the door. That guy's way off to the side. Their leader-ish guy is kind of an easy, in an easy spot, though, so we will pick on him, as usual. Okay, yeah, I don't know what gun that is. He's got that crazy shotgun thing. No worries. Move on over, get my master up there. Simple. Close the door. Nice. It's just me and you, bub. Is there one on the first floor? Oh, it could be a local force or something. That was a really long head movement. Gonna save because I feel like that really hung up. It was it was crazy. I was watching the frame and it was like 40, 40, 2, 1, and just hung on hidden movement. I was like, oh god, what's happening? And then the music faded out. I was like, uh. Okay, well, no worries. My master easily killed him. And with another hang, we're at the mission successful screen. Boy, that's getting really sketchy, isn't it? One local force killed, one civilian killed. Lost a little bit of points there, but you know what? We got just about $200,000 because of everything that we got. Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. We got, oh my god, Colonel Ababa, Colonel Thomas Duponte, and Commander Thomas R. Pancakes. Just when, we, just when you thought we couldn't get much more badass, we sure did.